Hello and welcome to the musicologyonline.net tutorials. This one is for Deep House and to start with you should have downloaded your zip file with all the tutorials and samples and projects etc and that should have been extracted to your desktop ready to begin. We're going to assume that you've got Ableton open and just to start with we're going to flick between these two views here one of them being for arranging and one of them being for the clip view uh, where you would be doing more of a live set. You can use this for producing as well, but for this we're going to use the arrangement view as shown. Next we're going to move over to the left hand corner. We are going to set the BPM to 124, which is a good speed for this type of a track. Just moving about on the top row there, when you left click and drag along up and down, you're going to find that it's going to enlarge the grid and shrink the grid, which is great for zooming in on certain areas that you want to work with. Next, we're going to play with the locators. So as you can see, when you drag left and right, this is the section that the track is going to, or well, the parts of the track are going to loop between. And if you have the loop uh, section ticked at the top or yellowed in, then that's going to mean it's going to loop between those two points continuously. So the first thing you'll see when you start Ableton, it has four tracks pre-set up. We're just going to do a little bit of housekeeping and delete the other ones. So you click on them and hit the backspace. That's going to delete the tracks where you can hit delete. We need to start with a MIDI clip. So we're going to leave the one MIDI track left. And what we're going to do is set the locators between one and three. And we're going to highlight the area and then right click or secondary click and insert MIDI clip. When you double to click on that, that's going to then next bring up the contents of that MIDI clip, which is empty at the minute, and we're going to be able to draw into that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a drum kit. So we're going to go to instruments, drum rack, and drag the drum rack into there as shown. Now, to select our parts uh, and samples to go into that drum rack, we're going to go Add Folder, and then we're going to select the Musicology Deep House folder that's already been extracted to the desktop previously. So we'll go to the Loops and Samples folder. And for this, we're going to go to the Deep House Shots. And we've labeled all these 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way through to 10. And what we're going to be doing is dragging them 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up as shown. This is going to give us uh, a perfect kit to use for this type of production. We're going to show you how to save it. And then we're going to use it time and time again in this tutorial. But you have it for next time if you want to make your own tracks and you can use it in your own productions. We're going to leave the tenth one out because this isn't required for this drum kit. We'll show you about that later. Then what we're going to do is press that button and that will save the drum kit under drum rack for us to use again. So we're going to rename it to Deep House Drums. You can rename it to whatever you want. And now when you double click on that MIDI clip, you've now got a keyboard mapped with all the sounds ready to use. And it even tells you what they are. So the first thing we're going to do is press on the pencil button as shown. When you click on that, that's going to allow you to draw single notes in on the grid below. And then we're just going to show you how to resize those by unticking the pencil, and then you can drag them up, down, left, right, or shape them to be longer or shorter. As you can see, we've got the, um, got the headphone button clicked there, which means that when you move them back and forth, you can hear the sound literally as you're drawing them in. If you take that off, you can draw the notes in or those boxes in and you're not going to hear it 
responding to that until you actually play the track. Now that's done, we can press the little play button or we can press the space bar and it's going to play that back within our loop. Next thing we're going to do is rename. So we'll rename our track there to kick. And that's our kick written in. The next thing we need to do is go insert MIDI clip again. This is how we add a MIDI clip. And we're going to literally drag the Deep House drum kit that we created before into that area there. And that means it's ready to use for the next parts that we're about to draw in. I'm going to show you another little trick of production. Now if you hold down control and drag the MIDI clip from above, it's going to allow you to drag that clip down and it'll be exactly the same as the one above it. But because this is a clap, we don't need it on every note. So we're just going to delete the ones as shown. And that means it's going to play in the right place for a, a clap. Now this one is still on the kick, so we need to move that up by pressing the up key on your keyboard. And now it lands on the clap. It's all in the right place. And that's your clap written in, ready to go. The kick's pretty much always in the same place with house music and the clap, again, the same. So minimize them for a little bit of housekeeping by pressing the uh, small triangle area. We're going to insert another MIDI clip now. We're going to rename this one because this is going to be our snare. We've got a couple of snares in this, so this is snare one. So again, we're going to highlight that area in between the two locators and insert MIDI clip. And we're going to drag that into the track again. And so we have the snare there. Can't hear it because we haven't got the headphone enabled. There we go, now you can hear it. I'm going to change the grid for this one to triplets by right clicking and selecting, which means that there's six beats in the, in the lane rather than four, which is a great effect for this type of music. So for this, we're going to draw the notes as shown. It's quite a complicated pattern. So we're going to show you how to do this one. And then we're also, the rest of them, we're going to use the MIDI parts provided as it's quite a time consuming thing to write them all in. You can hear that kind of loosely swung groove. It's very popular in house music. I'm just going to draw a few more in. In the areas shown, printed out, or well, we've we've captured all these MIDI arrangements. So if you want, you can print them up or have them on a screen, and then just copy what we're doing, so you can see exactly what they are. As I say, you can either draw them in, or you can just add the MIDI as we're about to do in the next parts. Need one more hit in there for it to be right. There we go. Okay. A snare one. Again, minimize it with a small triangle. And we're going to drag. This time, just drag the drum rack into an empty space and that's going to automatically create a MIDI track for you, ready for drawing your notes into. So for this one, going to go to MIDI files in the folder that's on your desktop. And then we're going to drag Deep House Snare 2 into that area there. And it's already in the right place. Just click no to this warning message. There we go, we've got that MIDI working, and you can see what it's doing. All of these are printed for you, so if you want to use any of those, you can see exactly what we've done and reprogram them yourself if you want to. So just here what we're going to do is, we're going to press a, 
going to highlight the area, press, press Control D, and that is going to duplicate it to the right, just on the area selected. And then once they're done four times, we can highlight the whole area and hit Consolidate. And that is going to create them into all one area, like so. And this just makes it easier for arranging later on in the track. So we're just going to show switching between that triplet grid again and switching between a normal grid. And you'll see the second note doesn't quite land at the same time. And that's what gives it that sort of funky swing. So we're going to drag in another Deep Power Strong Rack. But let's drag a few in because we're going to be using quite a few of these. Okay, so we go back to our shortcut that we created before. And for this one, we're going to drag in the open hat. Go and click no to that because it doesn't matter too much. There we go. You can see that what that's that doing there. Just give that a quick rename by right clicking it. And call that open hat. And the next thing we're going to do, we're actually going to create an audio track. So go create, create new audio track. And for this, we're going to drag in a shaker. So we're just going to rename that to shaker. We go to the loops folder. And you can hear, because the headphones tick there, it will automatically play when you click on it. You hear that mixed in with the rest of the track, which is great for auditioning through loops and dragging stuff in. So now that we've got the audio track there, we can literally just drag that straight into the project. And if you press the S button there, you'll hear exactly what that is. That solos the track and mutes everything else until you unclick it. Okay, I'm just resizing it by clicking in the timeline and put, holding it up or down. So we're going to go back to our MIDI parts and we're going to drag the perk into the next one. Okay, we're going to turn that down a little bit later. That's in there. Just rename that to Perk. Grab our Deep House Crash. We're going to put that at the beginning of the loop. There you go. Can you hear that kicking in there? And again, we're just going to rename that to Crash.
now we need to drag the ride MIDI in. It's a bit loud, so we're going to click, left click that is, and drag down on that area show. That's going to pull the volume down. Let's drag that down a little bit more. It's quite a subtle sound. We don't need it to be as loud in the mix. And that perk is quite loud as well. So again, we're just going to pull that down in volume there. Those digits are dBs that we're pulling it down. Now, if you flick to the other view, in the top right-hand corner, you can also adjust it like a traditional mixer. too low that is now there we go and whatever is clicked will also highlight when you go into that view it's a handy way of seeing what you're adjusting we just need to rename that again now don't really need these last two tracks so just going to click on them and then hit delete or back space and that will delete them. And so that's the drums done. We just need to save our project now, which is via file, save live set as. And in your Musicology Deep House folder on the desktop, we've pre-set up an empty folder for you called My Project. There we go, and you can just rename your file name, same on Mac or PC, just call it whatever you want, and save the live set to that folder. So we've gone through this quite quickly. What we suggest is that you maybe pause the tutorial, go through things in your own time, have a look at the screen prints provided of what we're drawing in and how we're drawing it in, and just take your time with it. As you progress, things will get faster. It's not about speed, it's about enjoying the process and making good music. We'll see you back in the next tutorial.